unreliable. <laughs> Muslims believe in Jesus Christ. There's a lot of uh, interest, I think, from the Muslim community, and many Muslims feel that well, your conclusions, your historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is, is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. I'm not interested in whether Jesus was the son of God because I don't think there was a God. And so my understanding is that your conclusion is that Jesus Christ was a messianic prophet. I think he, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Uh, I, I, I think that that's historically right. <laughs> you know, I think that all of these gospel authors, I think all of them think that in some sense, Jesus is God. If you think that the Bible cannot have any mistakes in it, if you're shown a mistake, then you just refuse to admit it's a mistake. You think either it can be reconciled in some way or that there's something we just don't understand understand about it or you know we have and and <laughs> in the quran it's mentioned if this book was from other than god they would have found in it many contradictions if a book is without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from god or not i've had phone books that are inerrant but i certainly don't think god gave them <laughs> so, no that, that is my view it's a necessary condition for a book from god not to have contradictions it's that's an assumption about what kind of book god could write I know this is a, an important argument that uh, apologists use for Islam. As somebody who is not either Christian or Muslim, it doesn't make sense to me for humans to say what God has to do. If God wants to make a revelation, it has to be this, this, or that. You're talking about somebody who's beyond your imagination. Well, so what, there has to be something within revelation which distinguishes it from human speech so as to act as an evidence. Yes, I know, uh, that's, no. I know that's your argument. I'm saying who says it has to be? You are. No. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. If it's not, then anyone can claim prophecy or prophethood, right? Well, the Christians and, say that's what the, that's what the Christians say what Muslims are doing. They're just claiming things for themselves. <laughs> No, no, I, in, in the past, prophets came with kind of visual miracles. The final prophet, who's we believe Prophet Muhammad, he came with something that can be analyzable in our times. If it's analyzable in a sense that you can distinguish it from human speech, and so this would be the argument that we would put forward. Yeah, no, I know, I know, and I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose he did not call himself God. That would not mean he's not God. I don't call myself a uh, you know a pain in the neck. <laughs> but doesn't mean I'm not a pain in the neck. <laughs> and I don't I don't buy it. <laughs>